In this tutorial, you will learn everything you need to know about Chaos Destruction in Unreal Engine 5, from setup to creating dynamic realistic destruction for your scene. And let's get started. Before we start guys, me and my small team are creating a new survival game using Unreal Engine. It would mean a lot if you wishlist our new game and join our Discord community where we share updates and thank you. Here I have a new fresh Unreal Engine project. I just imported this mesh. Which we're gonna test on it. And by the way, guys, I downloaded this Roman statue from the Quixel Bridge assets. You can type in the search bar Roman statue and you will find the model. Okay, the first thing that we need is to select our mesh, go to selection mode, and choose fracture. Now, to create a new fracture, press this button here, which is new, select a path that you want, and press create geometry collection. Now, go to fracture section and you will find a lot of fracture type. We will use the uniform type, which is common, press uniform, and in this tab you will find a lot of settings, you can leave the default settings, and here you can change the minimum and the maximum piece that you want your mesh to be fractured, so for example let's choose the minimum 20 and 14 from the maximum, and you will see here, if you're done, press this fracture button, on the right here in the fracture hierarchy window, you will see all the pieces uh, of your model, and also you can select uh, only one piece for example and you can fracture it also more for example let's put 20 and 20 and press fracture by the way you can preview also the explode amount by change this value from zero so you can see your mesh uh, how it will explode when you're done exit the fracture mode and go to selection mode the first thing to hide this color press on the model go to general and uh, turn this off show bones colors now if we play or let's let's simulate go here and press simulate if we simulate you will see nothing happen yet so i'm gonna show you a quick trick how you can test this go to shape and add this sphere for example change it to movable now if we simulate if we hit our statue as you see it's working here you will see some pieces are uh, still grouped and this is based on the damage force for example if i put this down it will be fractured more. You can change the damage amounts. Select your mesh, go to damage, damage threshold, and for example, put this to 100, or let's put one. Now, if we test, as you see, it will be all broken. Before explaining the pistol system, I want to show you something. Now, let's say, for example, you want to affect only this area and keep the bottom area here not affected with this fracture system. Go to content drawer, go to settings and enable the show engine content. Click on all folder and in search bar type FS, you will find this uh, yellow box, which is FS anchor field generic and FS master field. Drag and drop it in your scene, put it in the area where you don't want to affect your mesh. For example, let's put it here. Click on the mesh, go to initial adjacent field and click this plus button. Now, click this little icon, pick actor from scene and select uh, your yellow box. Also, drag and drop FS master field. This blue area here will affect our mesh. You can say, for example, like a little explosion. For example, here, delay amount after one second will fracture my model. When I press simulate now, what will happen? This mesh, this area will be affected and the bottom area will not. Let's test. So as you see here, the bottom area is not affected. Now let's add our pistol system. Go to content drawer. Let's add our first person template. Go to content, press add. Add feature or content pack, let's add our first person template. Open your word settings, go to first person, blueprint, and drag and drop your first person game mode here. Let's delete this actor and add our pistol. Now if I press play, I have my pistol here. So to add the effect, open your projectile blueprint. You can keep this or you can delete them as you want. Let's delete this. To understand the logic, we will spawn this uh, blue sphere area when the projectile hit our mesh. So to do that, let's spawn actor from class, type FS master field, in spawn transform, click make transform and drag hit location in location. 
Typeset Activation Type Change the light to Trigger And also add a node CE Trigger Add also a delay For example 0 0.2 seconds And destroy our projectile after that So that's all what we need Compile Save Ah, there's an error here Block target in return value by gun and shoot out everything and the bottom area will not be affected. Thank you guys, I hope this tutorial was very easy for you. Thank you for watching, support me by subscribe, like, comment to my video and see you in the next video.